As you know, the Children's Health Insurance Program expired on the 30th of September, in large part because we spent much of this year and in the days leading up to that date uh, debating the repeal of the Affordable Care Act instead of focusing on bipartisan priorities like the Children's Health Insurance Program. As a result, the program known as CHIP expired and the health of 9 million children, including some 340,000 Pennsylvania children, is now at risk. CHIP is a, not just a bipartisan program, but a successful program with a Pennsylvania history. It was modeled after a state program in Pennsylvania that was signed into law by my father when he served as governor in the early 1990s. The program provides affordable health insurance to children whose family incomes mean they don't qualify for Medicaid, but still struggle to find affordable uh, health insurance options. It's a program that working families rely upon and that provides peace of mind to parents. Many families turn to CHIP during times of economic hardship, such as when a parent loses his or her job. At such a stressful time, I've heard from parents over and over again how they have peace of mind knowing that their children will get the health care that they need. Some parents who rely upon CHIP for their children are in fact students working and going to school so they can make that leap into stable, middle-class life. They may not have a job with health insurance, or they may not be able to afford the insurance, but they know their children will get the health care that they need. Regardless of what drives families to the CHIP program, it is thanks in large part to CHIP that the United States of America has the highest rate of an insured children in our nation's history. According to the Census Bureau, 95.5 percent of children had health insurance in 2016. CHIP is also a popular program, as repeated studies have demonstrated. Parents think CHIP is a valuable program, and they are satisfied with the coverage and with the care their children receive. But unless the Senate acts, and acts very soon, we will have betrayed all of those children and all of those families. There's no reason for CHIP to have expired and no reason why we shouldn't pass a bill right now, if not in the next couple of days, certainly in the, in the next two or three weeks, to ensure that not one single child loses his or her health insurance. We've taken important steps to extend the program. The Finance Committee marked up the bipartisan, quote, Keep Kids Insurance Dependable and Secure Act of 2017, known by the acronym KIDS or KIDS. The KIDS Act came out of the Finance Committee, which reauthorizes CHIP for five years, and that happened some three weeks ago. And I'm proud to be a co-sponsor of that bill. So it's time to act. We have a common sense, bipartisan, successful bill in the Senate that's ready to go. It's out of the Finance Committee. So I'd urge my colleagues to join me and join others who have come to the floor today and on earlier days to take swift action to pass the KIDS Act. Mr. President, I would yield the floor and note the absence of a quorum.